luxury, excess, I say delicious. Truffle caviar pasta, let's begin. So we're gonna start with a hot pan with a little bit of olive oil. We're going to add about a tablespoon of guanciale or pancetta, small dice. So we're going to render the fat from this and we're gonna put a bit of color on it at the same time. So all of this rendered fat here, we're going to save and we're going to use it to emulsify the sauce later on. So now we're going to start our pasta. This dish is so rich, we're only going to use about 50 grams per portion. Now we're going to start whisking three egg yolks, and we're going to treat this sauce like a hollandaise. So once your eggs have been cooking for a while and you have a zabayon consistency, you're going to add the rendered guanciale fat slowly while whisking. This is going to give you a nice, rich, fluffy sauce. We're going to trap some air bubbles in there, so it's going to appear to be a bit lighter. So we're going to go ahead and add those pieces of guanciale. Once your pasta is cooked and your sauce is thickened up, add it to the sauce. Next, we're going to add a tiny bit of creme fraiche, about a tablespoon. Next, we're going to add our diced truffle and some chives. Some black pepper. And we're going to give this a good mix. So take a look at this sauce, it's really important. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It coats the pasta well. So now we're going to use some tweezers or tongs and a ladle. And twirl it into a nice shape right before we plate. We're just going to twirl slightly as we put it on the plate. And now we're going to spoon on around and on top the rest of the sauce. You can add parmesan or pecorino if you wish. But I find the guanciale and the caviar have enough salt content to keep the dish balanced. So now we're going to put the caviar on. I'm just using a ring mold here. I'm just going to spoon it in. And we're going to create a little well on top. And then we're going to put an egg yolk in the well. Caviar, truffles, pasta with a creamy sauce. There is never too much of a good thing. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see further recipes and techniques, please like and subscribe. Happy cooking.